sometimes I'll forget that I'm a little unhinged. Like, I literally went to Miami clubbing by myself and then told a guy, hey, do you want me to platonically blow you in the bathroom? Proceeded to hook up with him in the parking lot outside, took it on my face, wiped it off on my jeans, and then went back at the club like nothing happened. I am sick of this false narrative that's constantly pushed on social media. This false narrative of just keep grinding for more hours and you'll get the woman you want. Just stay in the gym for longer and you'll get the woman you want. To a small extent, sure, but I'm sure you've been realizing that itself doesn't get you women. No woman goes like, oh, look, he is such a hard worker. Wow, my clothes are coming off. Never. But they might be in the club with an absolute loser who's cracking her up. And a few moments later, he has her in his apartment taking her top off. So how does that work? Well, let me tell you, the more successful you become, or the more competent in whatever field you're in, this will most probably only make it more difficult for you to interact with women, not easier. This is something no one will tell you, as to make society function efficiently, they need to fool certain men into sacrificing their lives for never-ending pursuits. I want you to pay attention to the kinds of men women are actually sleeping with you'll realize how there's a night and day difference between reality and what you're told on the internet. The more career-focused you are, the smarter you get, the more money you make. What ends up happening is that you get so out of touch with reality that you become stiff. You become so lost in your own world that it becomes virtually impossible to even connect with the women you actually want to. I see that happening to so many guys, so pay close attention. I'm going to tell you how the game actually works and where you've been going wrong all along. And the very first thing you must understand is that women don't really care that much about real value and influence when it comes to dating. Just the illusion is enough. If they are outside and a guy comes along, completely broke, but acts like he's worth millions, she's going to automatically be attracted to him, at least enough to get in bed with him. So understand this. It's not your raw competency skills that are going to compensate for your lack of carnal appeal. She's not going to go like, oh, he's the best programmer in the state, I want him. No, your career and your carnal appeal are two very different things. Women, especially early on, don't care about your true value. Only visual illusions of status are enough too. I know of many wealthy, successful men with perfect physiques and good-looking faces who still can't attract a woman to save their lives. Why do you think that is? It's because they can't convey their high social status. They'll walk around wearing sweats every day, with scruffy beards, thinking women are going to go wild for them just because of their income. My brothers, that's why some broke people still have more game than super rich blokes. It all comes down to this. Who is the best at conveying social status, even if it's fake? Now the reason I'm telling you this is, I don't want you to keep walking forward with the incorrect notion of, if I'm not having success with women right now, I must not be working hard enough. That's going to have you waste your entire life with no rewards. If you can rewire your mind right now, you'll probably end up succeeding on both ends simultaneously. I'm going to tell you exactly how you correct this mistake I'm talking about. But keep in mind, being super competent and smart, that only comes into play when you're talking about long-term relationships. But in the short term, you'll see who women actually sleep with. The guys they'll be sleeping with will probably be broke, low value, and genuinely stupid blokes. Why do you think that is? Isn't that crazy to you? The reason is this. The high-value guys who are about their grind, who are on the road to becoming super successful and smart, they just can't let themselves go, even a little. They're constantly stuck in their own head, in the constant information analyzing, processing, and outputting mode. These traits might give you an edge in your career, but it'll bore the living lights out of the girl you're talking to. The truth is, Women do not care about those things in the short term. They're unfussied by them. The only thing that matters is this. How is this guy making me feel? Do I feel alive and lively when I'm talking to him? Or do I want to fall asleep on the spot? Rewear your mind to think within these lines. The most important thing you can do to convey your value is to master the art of verbal conversations. As humans, all our contacts are built verbally. Verbal communication is the most important of all. If you notice she isn't laughing or visually having a good time, beware, you're en route to losing her interest. 
Nowadays, many boys want to use the excuse of being high value to outright ignore the fact that women are all emotionally driven when we're talking about raw, carnal desire. I find it so funny how this narrative, that being a hard worker will get you girls, is religiously pushed on social media by guys who think they're doing a real service to other guys. You will never, and I mean never, hear a girl say, I slept with him because he was so smart he made me wet, or I slept with him because was so competent at his job, like he was the employee of the month and sold the most cars. They simply do not care, get that through your mind. The quicker you do, the better for you. On the other hand, you will frequently hear them say, well, he was very charming, very charismatic, he was very witty, he said all the right things, he had a pair of balls on him, he made me feel safe, made me giggle, and one thing after another, my top was off. I've heard that story a million times, about how he was so funny, and that her girlfriends approved of him so she got into him too. With women, it's not about how much you grind in a day, it's always feelings and emotions. Understand that. You need to make her feel good from the inside when she's with you. If she doesn't like you as a person, as an individual, she's not going to be attracted to you. The hottest girls you see around, the guys they want, are guys with a cool sense of aura to them, who have high carnal market value. Now keep in mind, I'm not talking about business or career market value. I'm not talking about fitness or having rock-solid abs market value. I'm talking about carnal market value. Because that's exactly what it is, carnal market value. It's an independent entity that you can't simply try to compensate for with other things. She needs to see how many other girls are into you. She needs to sense that female validation. That, to women, is dating value. Not the digits in your account when you look like your mom dressed you while going outside and all you want to talk about are the pros and cons of JavaScript. The secret to becoming good with women, and hear this closely as, this is what you've been waiting for, is in dropping your alter egos when you're with her. You can be Superman when you're outside in the world. But when you're with her, you need to be Clark Kent. You need to be living life with good vibes and having fun. That's why stupid guys get girls frequently. They don't know anything of actual worth and are worthless, ignorant fools, and talk as such too. And guess what? That ends up resonating with women. Unlike men, women don't constantly want to have their guard up trying to be high value. They like to be silly and have silly conversations. And guess what? They can do that with stupid, silly guys, but they can't do that with you who is making millions of dollars and has his head stuck in dropshipping. You need to find balance. Keep in mind, it's anti-masculine traits that often lead to raw, carnal desire. When you stop filtering your thoughts and just say whatever you want freely and openly, she's going to automatically feel that chemistry with you. So if you take anything away from this video, let it be this. When you're with a girl you're into, lower your guard. Dare to come across as stupid and say stupid things that come to mind. Show that you are an actual living person and not another computer-generated mod. That is the secret to success. On a parting note, also keep in mind, the more stuff you learn, the worse you get with women. It's an actual inverse relationship. For example, if you read somewhere that height makes a difference in whether a woman is attracted to you or not, now since you know that, you're walking around self-conscious and your chin lowered. All because of what? Because of some information you gained which you could perfectly do without. In general, you just want to be completely open, transparent with your thoughts, and not take yourself too seriously. You should even stop learning to some extent. If you want to be the smartest, there is. You'll probably end up being like Newton. So smart that he immortalized himself in human history, but never slept with a woman in his entire life. You get to choose the life you want to live. Well then, there you have it, brothers. Use this knowledge in your best interest. I don't want you forsaking your career goals as they're one of the most important things in your life. But you also don't want to be so stuck up that you have no game whatsoever. I don't want to see you like that. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more content coming in the near future. See you in the next one. Stay blessed.